what is up guys boris here coming to you guys with another one piece treasure cruise video now today we're going to be taking a look at legend akainu v2 another legend guide another legend team guide and uh this guy is very interesting does something that no other legend has ever done before so let's go ahead and take a look at what he does so legend akainu v2 boost the attack and strength in characters by 3.25 and then make strength and int order beneficial for strength and int. So pretty much he's the exact same thing as the Kuzan. 3.25 boost makes the both order beneficial for both classes. Now, he's, he's different a little bit. Uh, well, not a little bit, a lot for the second part of the captain effect. So he deals up to 500 times the character's attack in typeless damage to one enemy at the end of each turn, depending on how many perfects you scored that turn. So according to the database, um, it's going to be based on how many perfects you scored that turn, um, which means that this guy is going to be very, very powerful if that is the case. I, I thought that it was going to be over the whole dungeon, but if it's uh, every turn, then it's going to be incredibly powerful. Uh, and I'll explain why in a second. Now, let's take a look at his special real quick. Randomizes all orbs, including block orbs, into either strength or int, and then amplifies the effect of orbs on strengthening characters by 2.25 for one turn. So again, just like Kuzan gets rid of block orbs, turns everything pretty much into matching orbs. And then on top of that, he's an orb booster, whereas Kuzan was a type booster. So it's a little bit different there. The reason I did that is probably because of Shanks, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit. Um, just want to point out, this is sort of the ideal team. This is the Justin Higaki team uh, that he showed me that can hit up to 60, mi well, yeah, it does up to 60 million damage. Uh, after Cotton Candy and Limit Break, but we'll, we'll do the damage here in a second. Now, I do want to go back to his Captain ability because it's very interesting. Just to put it into perspective, after six perfects, you're going to be dealing 500 times the character's damage at the end of the turn. Well, how much is that? Well, assuming that we, with Cotton Candy and Limit Break, let's say he gets to somewhere between 1900 to 2000 uh, damage, or sorry, attack, then it, that's going to be. You're gonna be dealing about 1 million damage, 900,000 to 1 million damage at the end of every turn. Now, if you do double Zakazuki, then all of a sudden you're dealing 2 million damage without having to do anything but hit perfects. That's pretty insane. Um, I don't think that's, I mean, that just seems really overpowered to me, but we're gonna have to wait and see if that's gonna be the case or is it gonna be over the entire dungeon. Now, everything's pointing to it's gonna be at that turn. So, as long as you hit your perfects, you should be good to go. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if there's any ships that help out with that uh, in, for purple and, uh, and and red, but we'll have to wait and see. Maybe they'll do one in the. I would not surprise me if they do like a new. Well, actually, we know the we know the Rayleigh really shop for the month, so maybe in the future they'll do one. But let's go ahead and take a look uh, at what this team does, because funny enough, the perfect combo for Sakazuki is the Legend V2 Shanks. So this is a super pay to win team. You, have, you need to have two of the most recent legends. Um, now the reason that Shane is so powerful is one, he's a chain multiplier, uh, adds 0.9 to it, so pretty good. Probably the, I think it's the highest chain multiplier boost uh, in the game. And then uh, since we do have uh, four or more purple characters, um, he does give a 2.25 type boost. So really awesome, and he changes all orbs to int in this case. So you have a 2.25 orb boost and a 2.25 type boost and a 0.9 chain um, addition. Um, on top of that, we're gonna have uh, Neo Akainu for the color affinity, 1.75 color affinity. Then we have the, uh, this is probably gonna be a harder one to get, actually, I don't know, some of you guys might have it, but rare, um, limited rare recruit Leo, uh, just to add, adds additional damage. And he's also a striker unit, which means that we can run the Blackbeard ship. Uh, you can, it's not that hard to do because of the fact that both Sakazuki and um, Kuzan fulfill two of the roles. So in this case, he's a fighter shooter, whereas Kuzan is, I think, shooter striker. So you're probably going to be seeing the Blackbeard ship use a lot with these teams. Um, but yeah, the striker allows us to use the use that ship in in, um, in this. And then again, he does a little bit of additional damage, which is really awesome. And then the new Rob Lucci is great for this because he is both a delayer and a um, conditional booster. So really awesome. It only works if there's one enemy on the stage, but I mean, pretty much you're, you're bursting on the on the final boss. So uh, in 90% of cases, that's going to be true. Uh, and then Intox is just, I think he's the strongest uh, int unit besides these guys in the game. And also means that in the next turn, you can deal a lot of damage. You can deal a lot, a lot of damage with his special. So um, this is... 
this is a pretty this is what I call the ideal team for for Zakazuki. Uh, yeah, for Zakazuki. Um, funny enough, it doesn't involve two, although running two is probably going to be okay. So let's go ahead and add all the specials up together. So we're going to do Sakazuki Orb Boost, Red Hair Shanks Type Boost. Uh, we're going to do Color Affinity. We're going to add a little bit of damage from Leo. There just isn't that, that much, but it helps. And then the Rob Lucci. Uh, sorry, there we go. Rob Lucci. You're looking at 47 million. This is, again, this is pre kept cotton candy, pre limit breaking. And also take into account that you're going to deal about a million at the end of the turn from Zakazuki. So that right there is going to give you over 60 million damage. It's insane against yellow. Color affinity is really becoming the go-to boost nowadays. Because um, back in the day, there weren't that many color affinity boosters available. There was like Tashigi uh, and a few other ones. And now there's a lot. And there's even that two times one that I showed in the Kuzon video. So color affinity is becoming very important and just shows you how much damage you can add to a team. Now. I want to go over, just like last time, a few uh, really good units that you guys could add to the team in case you're missing any of these. Let me, sorry, let me do this. So um, I have some really good subs, uh, just different units. Now, of course, the first thing you could do is actually run a double uh, Zakazuki team. And uh, if it works the way it is, you're going to be dealing 2 million damage every turn to an enemy, which means that it might be difficult to stall. So keep that in mind. Uh, keep, if you're taking out enemies every single turn, it might be difficult to stall. So you probably have to actually hit greats and goods in the early stages. So you don't uh, end up, um, you know, killing all the turtles and stuff that you want to stall on. Now the first thing uh, to keep in mind is if you, obviously most of you guys won't have the shanks. I don't have the shanks. So the first thing you can do is replace him with like a rare recruit Robin. Uh, rare recruit Robin. Or you can just use a friend, uh, shanks friend captain. So I mean it's either or. Um, but if you want to run like double Zakazuki, um, you can just do that. So Robin again, still a, one of the original units. Still very good. Um, nowadays, two tank boost is still not bad. Uh, you, you, and remember, you, he can run red units, so you could you could definitely look into running some um, red units. Uh, some of those include like uh, let me see, carrot, the Valentine's carrot, I believe. Carrot is a 2.75 chain locker, so pretty good. Uh, and all these, uh, you know, also a lot of these guys have extra abilities that they get, like she gets rid of uh, chain limit multiplier and uh, chain coefficient reduction. So. You know, awesome utility units. You can run uh, the new Marco. However, Marco is kind of tricky um, because he does require um, three strength characters to uh, add the chain. Uh, you get 0 0.75 ch uh, to the chain multiplier. Um, but keep in mind, he's a very, very nice utility unit. It reduces bind, chain coefficient reduction, attack down duration for five turns, reduces damage by 90%. So he's a damage reducer. Really awesome unit if you can fill it. I mean, there's some other good ones. Like if, if you're fighting a green, a green uh, character, then you could do. Um, actually, no, no, you could do just from Gladius. Colosseum Gladius. He is a. Um, he's another color affinity booster. So, um, yeah, for shooter and the, both these guys are shooters. If you're running double Sakazuki, you know you could run like a shooter based team, and do uh, 1.75 uh, uh, condition. Uh, not conditional. Sorry, um, color affinity boost. Another one is if you want more additional damage. This is actually a really cool team for uh, Inu Arashi. Inu Arashi, if you guys don't know what he does, um, it reduces your HP by 80%, but um, he does do a lot of 80 times his attack and additional damage. So just a really awesome character. Uh, adds a lot of root for that, like the, maybe a mini boss, fourth room, uh, or even if you need like a final burst on a revive, he's really nice. Now, some other units that you guys could use. Uh, for instance, let's say if you want to run double Zakazuki again and you want to sort of you want to stall it out You want to be dealing the 2 million damage every turn and you want to be taking hits uh, From from your opponent. So you want to be running red damage reducers like Alvita just, just good old uh, You know Alvita went again another OG unit uh, Reduces by 90% or 80% um, if, you, if you want to upgrade sorry if you want an upgraded version you could do the Nami 20th anniversary Nami, I believe. Yeah, she's an 80% damage reducer. Also reduces uh, threshold damage reduction and attack up duration for three turns. So again, a lot of these units have a utility. Um, if you want a, a poison remover, you actually have two options. You have, or you might have more, but these are the two best in my opinion. Uh, you have Beiju. Uh, so because your captain is in recover, so you'll recover 7,000, remove poison. And then reduce uh, paralysis and despair and silence for three turns. So pretty good. You don't get the second part of the effect, um, but that's pretty good right there. Healing and gets rid of all that stuff. 
We also have uh, Evenkov, again another sort of old unit that never really gets bad because it's just so, uh, a lot of utility. Almost poison, reduces damage received by 50% for 2 turns and recovers 13 times the recovery uh, at the end of each turn for 2 turns. So overall, just really awesome. Now, if you don't, if you don't want to use Robin, let's say Robin on this team would kind of suck because you have like red units. So one of the things you could do is you could run the good old, um, one of the, you know, one of the uh, one of the first like tough Coliseums, which was Coliseum Zephyr. Uh, he's pretty good on this team because he, he's actually a 1.75 booster for strength and int, so he, he'll actually boost your entire team. So if you want to be running red units, that's another really good way to do it. Uh, I, he's probably he's pretty much a must-have for this team. And then there's a few other ones. There's um, obviously there's Invasion Garp. So Garp um, is pretty interesting because you're, you know, he he's actually he will one shot at 25% if your opponent's at 25% or lower. So with Akai Inu, he could actually be really good on this team uh, because uh, you know if you could calculate it so that you don't get him below 20, but you get him right right above it, and then Garp uh, knocked him out, um, or you can knock him out in a revive. A lot of a lot of things like that. I'm not using a 30% HP cut, which again never is never bad as well. Um, two two other units you could use are let's see the Bond Clay. Um, Rare Crew Bond Clay is pretty interesting. Uh, again, if you're trying to uh, trying to stall it out, um, he will protect from the feed for one turn. At a um, as long as you have more than 50% of your health remaining, also removes uh, positive buffs on your team. So a very interesting unit, sort of what Cavendish does. One of the few units that does what like uh, Legend Cavendish does. Um, gets rid of positive buffs in case they're uh, getting in your way. Uh, someone who does something similar in terms of survival is Barto. So if you haven't evolved your Barto yet, um, this and you have like a spare copy or something, he could always be nice on this team. Uh, so I might be, I might consider keeping another Barto around just because. I mean, having that ability in red and blue is really nice. And then finally, um, I have one more unit I want to mention and that is Rizo. Yeah, Rizo. <laughs> Can never forget Rizo. Well, again, another one of those units, rare recruits, that if you haven't pulled him, um, he'll always be good. So you try to get him. Pretty much any, any silence reducer is going to be good. And also he switches orbs three times. So yeah, there's a lot of possibilities with this team. You might want to need to play a really slow uh, defensive game where you just like bring a bunch of damage reducers, hit your perfects every turn, and then deal a bunch of damage. Or you can play like all out. Um, as you saw, the Justin Higaki team did 60 million damage in one turn uh, against uh, Sai, so that's pretty insane. Uh, but overall, Sakazuki is very powerful if it does work like this. And the more I think about it, the more the more I guess it does work like this. Um, that it, it's based on the number of perfects every turn. And so if you pull him, make sure to limit break him and feed him a lot of cotton candy. Make sure to max him right away so you can take full advantage of him. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down below if you have any questions. And until next time, guys, peace.